Hello and welcome to episode 3 of DOA SimCity Walkthrough with me, Ash. We're going to go straight back into the city now. Um, my main aim for now for the city is I want to start improving things a little bit. Um, just before I started recording I've added a new park into the area. And I think next stop is going to be improving these roads and upgrading them because we're still on the those ones, the low density, and we really want high density now. It will control the flow of traffic a lot better anyway. So I think we'll focus on the residential side first and then move on in a bit. It is a pain having to upgrade everything, but it helps to start low and then upgrade. On the bright side, all of these roads are just one in a row, so it's not going to take forever to upgrade these. Need a bit more money before we can carry on. Yeah, I've still got a lot of room over here that I want to work on eventually, but I just want to start getting everything set up first before looking into the rental profit now with the casinos, so that helps. What do they want? That is one thing we haven't actually built yet, a police station. I shall do that for you. You yeah, have got to prioritise everything, like, um, yeah, I've gone quite a long way into the city now without adding a police station, but I think that should be next. But we do have to remember we've got issues with everything else. Nine deaths a day. Let's have a look at our bonds. Pay that one off and then take out a new 50,000 simoleon one. You don't have to always rely on uh, bonds to get your city started, it's just I always find that they're quite useful. And as soon as you start making plenty of money, you can start paying it off again. I think that would do for now. Get another ambulance built. Just help a little bit. That'll have to do for now. We just need to wait for this ore mine to start bringing in some more money, really. Being very slow at the minute. We are starting to have an issue now with uh, waste and garbage, so I think that's the next aim. Wow, that's literally everyone, or nearly everyone. Yeah, we'll add one of these now. About there. Good thing with garbage, it's not something that really ever becomes a big issue. Um, thankfully, all you need is three or four, and they will slowly get round to every garbage can. Uh, we'll add one of them soon, so I can't be bothered to keep filling up land fills. So they can get out there and work. Like I said in the first episode, these become a pain very quickly um, because they get blocked up really quick, especially as soon as 
animals, sorry. As soon as the uh, population starts building up a bit, they back up very quickly, even when you've got one of the big ones later on. Let's have a look. So we are making a profit now, so at the minute I don't... I know there's a high tourist demand, but we haven't really got any way of bringing any more in, apart from maybe mass transit. I think if shuttle buses don't work, they don't bring tourism in. And I don't think I could put a train in here. Right, let's start improving things a bit now, we need to build things up a bit. Let's carry on with the roads quickly, get them done. Once they're out of the way we can start speeding things up a bit. No, definitely don't want that. It is quite costly when it does come to doing it, but as you can see here, there's no traffic problems anywhere now apart from here, which is where I haven't upgraded yet. So as soon as you do fix some, traffic's not a problem anymore. Right, that's that side done. Um, industrial. It will it will expand more as soon as you upgrade, but I ain't got the money at the minute, so we'll come to that in a bit. And I did see we can build the metal HQ now. How much is that? 37 grand. So as soon as we can start afford to put that in, we will, because as soon as I can get the smelting factory in, that's where big money comes into the city. So let's have a look. Space there. See, it's a very slow process getting up to speed and getting everything set up, but you have to sort of prioritise a little bit. Some big planes going over the sea, hence why I think tourism is such in demand. I think. Right, let's have a look. Actually, before we put anything else in, I want to carry on with this education. I know I've got a lot of things on the list now, but... Whoa. Not just yet, though. Problem with education, it does start costing you a lot of money, because obviously to keep everything running, like it's 1,100 an hour to run the high school, so that takes that off there. And as soon, I mean, the university... That's 1,600. When you've got it all running, that's a lot of costs every hour going out. But of course, if you eventually fix the taxes, you start making some of that money back. That's their problems. Not enough places. You've got a whole stack here. Right, let's upgrade these roads quickly. Let them have a bit of freedom to upgrade
Hopefully we'll see some uh, improvements start in this area now. Let's give them another fire truck as well. Yeah, we need to, like I've said a couple of times, we need to advance the city a bit now. It's dragging out a bit. So I think let's wealth up this area a little bit more. Let's add another park. Let's have a reflection pool. Let's have that about there. It's going to wealth the area up a lot. This area is going to struggle because of the ore mines, but. Yeah, we can handle that. See, I don't know whether I'm tempted to put more residential in here and have an arena of some sort, but the only problem with that is we need to bring tourism in. And with that we need to get to 30,000 uh, residents first. To have a ferry terminal. Right, I think we're going to carry on building now just with the high density because there's no point dragging it out now. Is there room for that to fit through there, do you reckon? Oh, look at that for a squeeze. Hmm. Maybe a quick road down there. Don't want to go straight at all. Sod that for a minute, let's get some more sims moving in anyway. And we could always put, assuming there's enough room. Nope, not one. We could always look at putting in the stadium down here if there's enough room, yeah. We could put that there and then have the ferry terminal sort of here. Perfect spot for that. Just need to get the sims in again now. Let's clear that out for now. Let's put the Metals HQ in as well, might as well get that put in while we can afford it. Now we just need to start making a lot of profit from storage. See we're nowhere near at the minute, so we need to start putting in a lot more money into these things. that as well, as long as we can keep up demand for our coal mine. We should be alright. Can we add another one of these? Yeah, speed that up a bit as well.
reason, one thing that does cost you in terms of making a profit is the amount of trucks that are running up and down delivering all your different things because obviously I don't know whether to move Abbott or storage somewhere like here it'd speed up the whole process quite a bit let's have a look no room for any uh I always build it here because that eventually would be in a good place for um, if we build a trade depot, uh, one of them ones, trade ports by the sea. And then, if we go over to zoom out this trade port, as long as there's none in, we'll get rid of these. We'll have another freight one. At least that way that will keep everyone happy and the ore storage is a lot closer to the sea and should speed things up quite a bit. As soon as you start building up loads of money in this game, you're sorted then. It's just a case of speeding it up enough. Do that. Like I say, I know for a fact at the minute it's not the most entertaining series yet. That's because we are still building things up, but yeah. Bear with us, we're going to get well into it. As soon as we start building the smelt in and start focusing on tourism and that, it sh the city should get a lot more interesting. It's just waiting our turn at the minute. This area is coming along nicely. Um, it's always good to check... Which one is it? That one. Just to see what's ready to upgrade and that. Like This area is not really at its turn now, whereas down here quite a bit that wants to so it will soon generally it does it by itself eventually if you don't do it by wealthing up the area water issues again Hate water towers, but for now, that's anything. I ain't put them to sell actually. Have I? Yeah, for now, we ain't really got enough um, sims or anything to do any different. See, judging by the amount of planes now, I'm really considering whether I've made a mistake here. I should have gone for the tourism, but I still can. Right, I think I'm going to wrap it up there for now. Um, yeah, we're going to slowly advance this city. We're going to maybe aim for a little bit more tourism than we are at the moment. Cause there's a lot of planes that go over here, so maybe an airport eventually. Um, yeah, so we're going to advance it a little bit more. 
very soon. Let me just check. I don't think we can upgrade that yet. No, nowhere near yet. But yeah, bear with us and I'll see you again next time where hopefully we'll be able to advance the city a little bit more. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.